Hey guys and girls, welcome back to some of the great Ace Attorney when we left off. We are in the midst of our own case. Um, Ryanosuke is trying to defend himself against, as per Phoenix Wright, first case is a pain. <laughs> this one being named Alchi. Uh, let's actually, um, before we continue, I want to read a little bit. So this is Takitsuchi Alchi, the lead prosecutor of this case, who would appear to have little love for the changes of the cultural reformation has brought. Okay. Witness, kindly state your name and occupations for the court. Yes, sir. The great Nippon Imperial Army Sergeant Iesa Nosa, reporting for duty. Myself, I find employ as a purveyor of fine articles of antiquity from the efflorence, efflorescent of our nation, Nippon, and conduct my trade from Rasute, a humble premises in the second district of Kyorio, Korekuta, at your service. An antique dealer and a soldier. What an unusual pairing. Both of these gentlemen were present at the restaurant on the day in question. There must be the diners at the other table that the waiter mentioned. Myself, I habitually take tea of the most exquisite aroma at the establishment in question. Always post noon, and not infrequently converse with interested parties regarding the curios with which I make my business. I can't understand a word that old man is saying. He's an antique dealer, and it sounds like he's a regular at La Carnival. He seeks out potential customers who may have an interest in antiques and tries to sell his wares to them. He obviously targets La Carnival because it's a high-class restaurant with rich clientele. Right, I see. Although, to be honest, that sergeant looks more like he'd be a seller rather than a buyer. Now, you both witnessed the precise moment of this most atrocious incident. Is that correct? Affirmative! The enemy unit was seen attacking the foreigner in what can only be described as an act of war, sir. It was the black uniform rogue infantryman over there who unloaded his firearm, sir. This man's as impossible to understand as the other. But I'm almost sure I heard a strange noise during the last thing he said. Yeah, it was a baby. So this is the decisive evidence the prosecution was threatening. The soldier is claiming that he actually saw the precise moment you shot the victim dead. Yeah. Why was it a baby? Well, are you starting to feel uncomfortable? If I'm honest, I was feeling uncomfortable from the start. Now, the court will hear your formal testimony, please. You will state everything you saw at the precise moment that the incident occurred. Sir, yes, sir. Standing by, ready to report, sir. Hmm. Unsavory memories of a most acerbic afternoon. He's got a baby tied to behind him, doesn't he? What the witness saw. I was ingesting a regulation beefsteak at the restaurant while having a tactical discussion with the old man. Myself, I was extolling the virtues of a particularly fine golden curio to the military gentleman. At that precise moment, a firearm was discharged. I observed the enemy's actions with my own eyes. The black uniformed Garski cadet fired on the English civilian, and from the back, the cowardly little weasel. I was on my hands and knees investigating the whereabouts of my mysteriously absconded precious curio. So he didn't see anything. Well, so you, Sergeant, N Sergeant Nosa, actually witnessed a vital moment. You saw the split second when the defendant fired the weapon at the victim. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. That wicked university cadet, sir. The cruel and unforgivable enemy. What the times we live in, when an English gentleman may be assailed in the broad light of day. But, but this is ridiculous. I didn't shoot anyone. Is that really true, Ryonosuke? Yeah, all I did was pick up the gun that I saw lying on the floor. After I had said hello to Dr. Wilson, I went back to my table and sat drinking some coffee. Then when I had finished, I got up from my seat to leave the restaurant. When I noticed an English-made gun next to the chair where the professor was sitting. At 
thought perhaps the professor had dropped it. So I bent down, and just as I was picking it up... Well, if that's the truth, there was obviously a criminal on the scene somewhere. And somewhere in these two witnesses' testimonies, there's a clue as to who the, that criminal was. There is? Rienosuke, you must exercise your right to cross-examine the witness. Cross-examine? Do it now! As we have heard, Your Excellency, there's no room for doubt in the testimony of these witnesses. The defendant is clearly guilty. It is time to bring this despicable student to justice. Certainly, the testimony the court has just heard eliminates any vestige of doubt. Therefore, it is my grave duty to de declare the verdict yes! of this trial. <laughs> what in the name of the Emperor is the meaning of this outburst? I... I am... Um... I mean, the defense... Demands its right to a cross-examination. Dear me, dear me. Let me guess. The Hachimaki headband boy next door told me to do it. How pathetic. Huh? How did he know? The prosecution objects. This is a clear waste of time. The defendant obviously has no experience. How can he possibly carry out a cross- Objection! The defense is asserting its right to a cross-examination. Whether or not you think he's capable of it is irrelevant. was so commanding. Very well. Let the defense conduct a cross-examination of the witnesses. Alright, this is where the battle really begins, Ryanosuke. But I don't even know what I have to do in a cross-examination. Isn't it obvious? We have to expose the lies in the witnesses' statement. How? You didn't fire the gun, which means what that soldier said has to, has to be a lie. Well, yeah, but... It's just a case of proving it. And the key to doing this is evidence. Right, evidence. All you need to do is present some decisive and indisputable evidence that proves the witness is lying. Now, let's go, Ryanosuke. Don't let them beat you. <laughs> all right. It's all or nothing. I was ingesting a regulation beef steak at the restaurant while having a tactical decision with the old man. Discussion with the old man. Also, uh, what do I have, actually? He was shot from the front in the chest. Myself, I was extolling the virtues of a particularly fine golden curio. At that precise moment, a firearm was discharged. Discharged. Black uniform varsity cadet fired on the English civilian from the back. That's wrong. Because uh, it was from the front. Yes! <laughs> what? What are you playing at, Cadet? What is the meaning of this subordination? Thrusting some photographic print in my mustache. In inconsistency, sir. I mean, yes. There's a clear inconsistency here. Tisk, what nonsense. What can this print possibly tell us that we don't already know? Quick moment here, guys, before I continue.
can this print possibly tell us? Well, obviously, that, um, I know what I want to say, but the words just won't come out of my mouth. Hm. I think this proves beyond any doubt, Your Excellency, that there is no place for an amateur student here in this grand courtroom. Hmm. Ah, this is so frustrating. Oh, please. Surely this doesn't require an explanation. It couldn't be more plain. To spell it out would be an insult to the court. Kazuma? What? What are you talking about? It's apparent from a single glance at the photographic print presented by the defense that there's a clear discrepancy here with the sergeant's statement. What? Sergeant Iesa Nosa. Yes, sir. What, sir? The statement you just made was this. The black uniformed varsity cadet flyered on the English civilian and from the back, the cowardly little weasel. Yes, sir. Affirmative, sir. I witnessed the crime with my own military great yes! eyes. But no, that just can't be. And why not, cadet? Because. 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 Take a close look at the print. The victim, Dr. Wilson, died from a bullet wound to the chest. Uh, Sergeant, according to your witness statement, the culprit shot the victim from behind. And that is the obvious discrepancy here. Well, how do you explain it? No, 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 well, no, no. What the... What was that? Something just popped up from behind his back, but he pushed it down. Certainly. There is a clear discrepancy with the facts here. Would you not agree, Sergeant Nosa? Yes, sir. At this juncture, that would appear to be indisputable. Yeah, <laughs> Got him. Until the moment I heard the fire on discharge, my eyes were... Firmly fixed on the delicious La Carnival steak, sir. What? The last testimony the court heard has proven one thing beyond all reasonable doubt. This witness, Sergeant Nosa, did not see the defendant firing a gun at all. Nah, that's... that's absurd. I think the conclusion we must draw is simple. There is no place for an amateur prosecutor here in this grand courtroom. <laughs> Got him. There's been a complete turnabout in the mood of this trial, just from that one discrepancy. So this is what being an ace attorney is all about. But, but I definitely saw him. That university cadet there, he was pointing the firearm directly at the victim's yes! back. But I never fired the gun. All I did was pick it up off the floor. Hmm. And you, old man, you didn't see the moment the victim was shot either. Myself, I have already been quite clear. The gunshot interested me not. I was far too busy on the floor. Too busy on the floor. Sorry, what were you doing? Hunting for treasure. In treasure? Indeed, the Hoi era Coben, my prized coin. On each occasion, when I visit that restaurant, it is my habitude to place it in my bosom pocket, a particular trinket of interest for my shop, Rasute, in the hope of meeting a rich diner who might like to buy it from you. On the day under scrutiny, it was to the military man that I proffered my Hoi treasure. Believed that he would purchase such a rare find, I did not, but I was presented with little alternatives. And then, after averting my eyes for the briefest mo moments, I was there no more. It, it was there no more. It simply vanished. The Coben vanished. Hunting around under the table, I was in case. Mayhap it had fallen there. And then it happened. You heard the gunshot. Indeed. I did, but I heeded it not, for I was concerned only with finding my absconded hallway. Nothing could distract me. 
Out of interest, did you find the coin in the end? No. Hmm, I see. That lamentable day, the precious Hoei Kobin was lost to me. No doubt some unscrupulous scoundrel pocketed the prize coin for himself. As I'm sure everyone present is aware. This case demands a swift and decisive resolution. Our government has promised to send a full report to Great Britain by telegraph this very afternoon. Nevertheless, the witness testimony the court has just heard was inconclusive. No matter how sub subservient our government feels it must be to the British. It would be unforgivable to deliver a verdict on this trial right now. Hmm. What is your position, Prosecutor Archie? <laughs> Worry not, Your Excellency. The defendant may have fled a tiger at the front gate, but he will find a wolf at the back. My witness have further testimony to make. Explain. Upon hearing their next statement, it will become abundantly clear that there is only one person who could possibly have committed this despicable crime. The equally despicable defendant, Ryonosuke Naruhodo. What? He really seems to have a despicable opinion of you, doesn't he? Ugh. Very well. The court invites the witness to testify again. We will thoroughly explain the reasoning behind the, the prosecution's allegations. Is that clear? As clear as Kirio Kiriko Glass, Your Excellency. Yes, sir. At once, sir. Awaiting signal to testify, sir. Excuse me, but there's something like someone peeking out over your shoulder, I think. Affirmative! The newest member of the Nosa family to rise up through the ranks, sir. Named Ido. <laughs> it would seem those straps are assigned to the sergeants. Your father is about to quell the enemy! <laughs> Watch and learn, my boy! Witness testimony. The true culprit. Even if what I saw wasn't pre the precise moment, the firearm was discharged. It's almost the same thing. Yes, pointing his gun at the foreign man. He was. He was. That young lad in black. That much I myself did see. Furthermore, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. Indeed, alone he was. The Englishman. Dining all by himself. Therefore, no one other than the black uniform cadet could have dispatched the Englishman over and out. But his last testimony just said that I... Hmm, these testimonies are certainly yes! compelling. Wait, that's, that's nonsense. But the victim, Dr. Wilson, wasn't alone at all. Please, enough of these outbursts. But there was a woman. There was a young woman at his table. You must have seen her. You must have seen her. Everyone there must have seen her. Attention! If you call yourself a lawyer, then you will respect the rules of this court and speak accordingly. We are not here to listen to your fantasies. Ugh. It is evident beyond all reasonable doubt that the victim was alone at the time of the incident. The prosecution has photographic evidence of this fact. Is this a photographic print of the scene of the crime, counsel? Indeed. Of the table at which the victim was dining taken by an investigator immediately after the incident. As can plainly be seen, there is only one place set. Who ate the meat? Cause the... Right after the incident was when he was slumped over and the meat was fresh though. Certainly based on the appearance of this print. It would be reasonable to conclude that the victim was not in the company of anyone else. Ugh, this doesn't make any sense. The court will add this new pho photographic evidence to the records. I don't understand. What's going on here? It's just not possible that nobody else saw that woman. The waiter before said the same thing. He maintains that Dr. Wilson came to the restaurant alone as well. But that's not true. I, I saw her. I swear that I saw a woman with him. It would seem that we'll be able to telegraph the report to Great Britain on time. The witness testimonies we have just heard leave the further, no further room for doubt. 
These are very sensitive political times, as we all know. The ink is still fresh on the treaty with Great Britain. To think that I, Takitsuchi Alchi, will have contributed to the amity of these two great empires. How can this be happening? The judge is ready to rule. Stand tall, Ryunosuke. It's not over yet. What? If what you say is true, then there's something going on here behind the scenes. And now is your chance to expose it. To draw out the truth in your cross-examination. I, I don't know, Kazuma. The defense is entitled to cross-examine the witness, but make it quick. Understood. Tch. Rules can be so unbending at times. <laughs> Pointing his gun at the foreign man, he was a young lad. Uh, can I press yes! him on that? Yes, it may be true that I was holding the gun at that point in time. But I've told you already, that's only because I picked it up off the floor. Obviously, as the culprit, that's the only way you could explain it. I had just finished drinking my coffee, and I was about to leave the restaurant when... I noticed a gun on the floor at Dr. Wilson's feet, so I picked it up. And at exactly that moment... A gunshot rang in my ears. Hm. Full of ev events beyond our control, life is. Sorry? What do you mean? In your case, you found a pistol on the floor and picked it up, which precipitated, precipitated this testing predicament. Whereas, conversely, I failed to pick up the Colbin from the floor and find myself in an equally testing predicament as a result. Anyway, the fact remains, myself, I did see you, with pistol in hand, standing over the foreigner. Furthermore, a visual search of the premises at the time confirmed that we were the only personnel present. The Englishman dining all by himself. Therefore, no, no one other than the black uniform cadet could have dispatched the Englishman over and out. Yes! So you actually saw that with your own eyes, did you? The victim, Dr. Wilson, dining alone? That I did. Forgive me for the position I placed you in. So the testimonies of the old man, the soldier, and the waiter all agree on that point. Isn't that interesting? Let us not forget the incontestable evidence we have to support their statements. As can clearly be seen, there's only a single beefsteak on the victim's table. A meal for one. No. The antique stealer, the sergeant, and the waiter who testified before. It's not impossible that they're all lying. But if so, then why? If I'm perfectly honest, I have absolutely no idea. Therefore, no one other than the black uniform cadet could have dispatched the Englishman over and out. Yes! Why aren't you telling the truth? What? What did you say, you cadet? I clearly remember. There was a woman sitting across the table from the professor. Perhaps one of you might not have noticed. But for both of you to have failed to see the professor's dining companion, it's just not possible. Unfortunately for you, defendant Naruhodo, it's not just a case of these two witnesses. Sorry? The waiter, whose testimony the court heard earlier, clearly stated the same thing. He also said that the victim was alone. That's right. 
Precisely. In other words, you are the sole proponent of this phantom lady. But, but I... If such a woman were indeed present at the scene, the prosecution demands to see proof. And if no such proof exists, the prosecution demands that no further mention of this phantom woman be made. It is a blatant waste of the court's time. There's nothing I can say to that. Tish. What do you think, Ryanosuke? Uh, um, uh, what's the matter? I can't find anything. I can't find a clear discrepancy. I'm done for. I can't win this. No. 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 Listen, the first thing to do is calm down. You can't expect witness statements to be full of holes every time. So just take your time and try to tease more information out of them. What do you mean? You can choose to either press or present against each of the witness statements. I get this. Uh, I have to press the, the, the last couple statements real quick. same thing at all. Start. I didn't fire that gun. We have a difference of opinion on that. The opinion of a uniformed officer versus that of a fledgling cadet. Um, I don't think so. Consider this. Defendant? Just a moment ago, I blinked. Uh, did you? Did you see it? Did you see me blink? How could I? And yet... It is an undeniable fact that I did blink. So there you have it. Or, I have what? <laughs> Teen Shun. The sound of the firearm rang in my ears. In the very next moment, I saw you waving the gun at the Englishman. I think that says it all. Don't you? And let us not forget that the antiques dealer witnessed the accused in this most incriminating position. Isn't that so, Kurekuta? sitting here. must have noticed some, someone else at Dr. Wilson's table. There was a lady there. As you have been at pains to point out time and again, I feel I'm growing a callus in my ears. And yet no one else appears to have caught even a glimpse of this woman. Ugh, if only there had been more people dining there at the time, 
and someone else would have noticed her. Unfortunately, it wasn't. It was already past 2 p.m. when it happened. A quiet time between lunch and dinner in any restaurant. I know. Of course, the place was almost empty. It's what you'd expect. Certainly, 2 p.m. is neither here nor there in terms of a time to eat. I wonder if there was a reason why the victim was eating at that time of day. And why he was alone. Yes, Your Excellency, there was indeed a reason. There was? This was found in the victim's jacket pocket. What is that, Consul? It is a medical report card, Your Excellency. It would seem that the victim had an appointment at a clinic prior to visiting the restaurant. Hmm? Hota Clinic. Yes. There would indeed appear to be an entry for the date in question. 19th November, noon to past 1 p.m. Hmm. The very day of the incident. So the victim went for a late lunch following his appointment. The explanation couldn't be more simple. The prosecution felt no need to submit this evidence before, as it really had no bearing on the case. I wonder... What do you think, Ryanosuke? Hmm? Well, it is hard to see how it could be related, really. Remember, you can request for it to be entered into the court records. Should I ask for Dr. Wilson's medical report card? Uh, yeah. Yes! If I may, I'd like to ask for that medical record, medical report card to be submitted as evidence, Your Excellency. On what grounds? Um, the court has already heard conclusive witness testimonies. Additional evidence would be extraneous. Not to mention that the victim's movements prior to this arrival at the restaurant Objection! are of concern. Whether or not they are of concern is up to us to decide. We have a right to explore all possible avenues. I beg your pardon. You have no authority to refuse a perfectly valid request for the submission of evidence. Very well. The court will grant the defense's request. Ah, youngsters these days are forever asserting their rights. It's a most disturbing trend. <laughs> Officer, kindly add the victim's medical report card to the court records. Okay. What we need right now is new clues. We have to explore things from every possible angle, even if they don't seem relevant. Right, I hear you. Hmm. You can conspire to prolong this trial as much as you like, but it's the day after the festival already for you. Or perhaps you'd forgotten that these witness testimonies leave no room for doubt. Feel free to reiterate for the cursed Kurikuda, the son. Alright, what does this record say? Medical report card that was found in the victim's pocket. Can I not look at it? Excellent work, Ryanosuke. We gleaned some new information. Well, yeah, but I don't feel like it changes much. I can't see that it brings any real discrepancies to light. I wouldn't be so sure. Let me see that medical report card you got. Oh, you mean this? Yes, this is a brand new piece of evidence. So perhaps we should examine it in a little more detail. How exactly? You'll, not you'll notice that some pieces of evidence bear magnified. I got you, I got you, Kazuma. <clears throat> I was trying to do that. Ooh, I can turn stuff too, thank you. I was waiting for them to let me do that. Because I want to rotate the, the business card. I feel like that waiter's business card is, something's up with that as well. So, partner, I think you should take a closer look at this medical report card. See if there isn't something new to be learned by examining it in more detail. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Okay. Alright. There's a code. 
code here? Oh. Dentist. Okay, for his teeth. Um, can I open it? Can we open it? Required for every visit. Alright, hit the page to open it. Okay, so what do we got? Let's have a look. This is some kind of medical history. Ah, and there's an entry for the day the professor was killed. Extraction of molar with topical anesthesia. Extraction of molar? You mean he had a tooth taken out? It seems so. Just before the incident, he'd had a bad tooth removed. Perhaps they used laughing gas. That's the most modern practice in the West for pain relief. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard of this anesthesia. Although it's hard to believe there's anything that can actually stop you feeling pain. Ah, there's a cautionary note from the medical practitioner. Strictly no food or drink besides water for three hours post-procedure until anesthetic effects have passed. Really? Sounds like information worth bearing in mind. Okay. He shouldn't have been eating steak, which means the one person that was eating was probably the person with him. With this new information, the meaning of that one particular statement totally changes. So, I think it's time we listen to the testimonies again, don't you? Definitely. Is he bringing this out? What? Investigations Division, Imperial Police Bureau. Satoru Hosonaga. Well, that's unexpected. What is? Look, do you see? It says the witness's name here. Satoru... Satoru... Satoru Hosonaga. Well, yeah. Business cards do tend to show the person's name. That's sort of the point. It's not... It's not the name. That's unexpected. It's his job title. His job... Oh! Chief Inspector. Primary Criminal's Investigation. Inspector? What on earth? I have no idea. But let's face it. Police have a lot of power and influence. If they're wielding it somehow here. Let's 
sketch of the restaurant's layout is on the back. On the front, it stated that Hosanaga signed as a police inspector. Can I present yes. this? The statement is clearly odd. Fuck that up. I thought I could present it because no one other than the black uniform cadet could have dispatched the Englishman over an hour. A record of dental work. On the day of the murder of the victim, the victim had undergone dental treatment and been prohibited from eating or drinking anything but water. So if I present this... Yes! Right? Because he can't eat. He, he wouldn't have been dining. Um, uh, well, I think, um, what are you, you wittering lad? Call yourself a lawyer. You call yourself a lawyer? I wish I could, but first and foremost, here, I'm the, I'm the accused. Ryanosuke. Everyone stumbles on their words occasionally. Under the circumstances, I wouldn't worry about it. Thanks, Kazuma. I could see it quite clearly in that cross-examination you just carried out. When you raised your hand straight up like that, so purposefully, you knew exactly what it was you wanted to say. Don't feel like you have to choose your words carefully. Just say what you're thinking. All right, and thanks for the advice. Kurikuda-san, this is a medical report card belonging to the victim. Ah, I see. And I don't see. What of it, boy? Comparing what is written on this report card with your witness statement. Something clearly doesn't add up. Objection! Dear me, dear me. Have you forgotten my words so soon, you amateur? Sorry, what? You are not to interrupt court proceedings with your amateur drivel. But uh, let's see if I can explain in words you might understand. It was after 2 p.m. in the afternoon when the victim was murdered. Whatever he may or may not have done before that, time is completely irrelevant. Uh, but, but that's... Uh, remember, Ryanosuke, you don't have to use clever language or fancy words. Just make your point. Your Excellency, I believe we're finished here. There is surely no need to prolong this trial. Hmm. The witness testimonies the court has heard have been clear and concise. This medical report card has no bearing on the matter at all. For the simple reason that... There's no one else besides this pale-faced pupil who could possibly... This medical report card has nothing to do with the case? Do you really believe that? Why? That outburst had petrified me. Boy, of course I believe it. How could it possibly be relevant? Perhaps because Hoda Clinic, which issued the report card, is a dental clinic. A dental clinic? Is that supposed to mean something to me? Perhaps if I told you th that the victim had just had a tooth extracted. Hmm, what's this now? And furthermore, if I told you that as a result of the victim, the, as a result, the victim had been forbidden from eating. Just, just what are you trying to say, cadet? He had ordered orders not to eat? So what? It's all written up in here. No food or drink other than water for three hours post-procedure while Anastasia wears off. What? No, that, that can't... Kurikuda. What, boy? What? As you just heard, when he was killed sometime shortly after 2 p.m., the victim couldn't have been eating anything at all. No. Additionally, there's more. You have assured the court with unwavering self-confidence that the victim was dining alone. That cannot possibly be the case. 
because the victim, as we now know, had just had one of his teeth extracted and was still experiencing the effects of Anastasia. Anesthetic. <laughs> Expertly done, partner. Hell yeah. Objection! What? What is this nonsense? You little upstart. These are baseless ac accusations. Just, just look at this ph photographic evidence. You can clearly see the plate of food at the victim's table. Objection! Use your head. That's the very discrepancy we're talking about. But can't you follow the logic? It means someone else was eating. How, how dare you? I think it's fair to say that the table, that the tables in this restaurant case have turned. Wouldn't you agree, Yunosuke? <laughs> hmm? Yes, most definitely. So, having just undergone some dental surgery, the victim was unable to eat. Which leaves one very crucial conundrum. Who, in fact, was eating the pictured beefsteak? The court will hear the opinion of the defense on this new puzzle. I assume you're ready, counsel. Counsel? Oh, oh that, that's me. Doesn't it? That means me. Alright, the answer to this question is going to be pivotal. This is the start of you turning this trial around. Show them what you're made of. Got it. So, um... The person eating the steak at the victim's table must have been... Me. An as-yet-unknown third party. Obviously, it can only have been someone else who was sitting at the professor's table. Objection! You will not let this go, will you? There was no such yes! person. There was, because I saw her. When the incident occurred, we know that the victim couldn't have been eating anything. Yet we have evidence of a half-eaten steak on the, his table. Therefore, the only logical conclusion is that there was somebody else there eating it. Nah. We have strong evidence to support our assertion. It's clear that these witness testimonies are unreliable. If the court decides to push through a ruling at this stage, we will lodge a formal complaint with the Ministry of Justice and pursue a fair retrial. Kazuma, are you insane? You, you would take on the government. Don't worry, counsel. I have no issue with you. What do you mean? I have issue with them. Those two witnesses in the stand. What? What are you talking about? We have demonstrated with evidence that the victim was not alone. So if it now turns out that the two of you deliberately lied when giving your testimonies, obviously you will be charged with perjury. Perjury? And since this is, this is a murder trial, you will also be deemed complicit in, in the killing. Complicit in the murder? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Hold it. Negative. There, there was no mention of this at the tactical meeting. I was just following orders. That's right. As the man says, just say you never saw the gentlewoman. That's what they um, told us. No. Uh -oh. What? What did you just say, Kurikuda? No, um, no. You were just following orders? Now hold on, lad. I was, um... Say you never saw the gentlewoman. Urgh. When you say gentlewoman, do you mean... You saw the victim with a lady from overseas? What? Objection! What? What is the meaning of all this? These witnesses gave false statements? Is this true, you, you pair? Just one. Just one simple... Slip of the tongue! Order! Order! Council, explain what is going on here! It's painfully clear now. You tried to prevent these witnesses from telling the truth. Absolutely not! The prosecution knows nothing of this. Then, who's behind this? Who tried to make you keep your mouth shut? Well, um... That's classified. So you're prepared to be tried as a conspirator to the murder? You... you wouldn't. This can't be happening. 
Ryanosuke. Judging from the way you're, they're reacting to this, I'd say they were sworn to silence by someone with considerable influence. However, I don't believe Alchi had any idea about it. What are you saying? I mean, to wield that kind of influence, there are only a handful of possibilities. It could only have been the government, the military, or, or the police, I suppose. Well, any idea about who might be behind this? If we can affirm who tried to silence these witnesses, then we can continue our pursuit. So we need to name whoever it was that tried to make the witnesses keep their mouths shut. Of course, we'll need evidence before we make any firm accusations. Evidence that proves whoever it was really did wield his or her power here. But how? How can we possibly... Remember how we made progress before? We examined this piece of evidence in more detail and found a new clue. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's not the only piece of evidence we have, is it? We need to re-examine everything and make sure there's nothing we missed. There's no time to lose. I want answers. If it's proven that these witnesses have been manipulated, I assure you the penalty will be severe. Please, wait. Your Excellency, I had no idea about any of this. I swear to every Shinto god, I knew nothing. And what does the defense have to say about all this? Well, Your Excellency, no time to think. I'm just going to have to close my eyes and shout out the first name that comes into my head. Besides the prosecution, the only person with the necessary influence to manipulate the witnesses. Yes! Well, surely that would be... Satoru Hosonaga. Hosonaga-san, the waiter who took the stand oh, earlier. Kid. Poppycock! What possible reason would the waiter have to make these witnesses give false testimony? Not to mention the fact that even a head waiter could not possibly have that level of influence. For once, I would agree with you. If that is the man truly... If that is the man truly were a waiter. What? If he truly were... Come on, Ryunosuke. Time to hit this court with the truth. The truth about Satoru Sonaga's real identity. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Yes! The plan of the restaurant, sketched by the man in question. I agree, it shows a great deal of attention to detail, but I'm not sure we can conclude anything. Sorry, Your Ex Excellency. That's the back of the card. It's the back of the back of the card that's of interest. I beg your pardon? Or perhaps I should have said the front? Yes, it's the front of the back of the card. That's where the telling detail is. Would somebody please explain what this overexcited student is trying to say? Hosonaga-san sketched the plan of the restaurant on the reverse side of his business card. The front of that business card reveals the man in question's profession. His true profession. The waiter's profession? But that surely... Good gracious! That's right, Your Excellency. The card reads, Chief Inspector, Primary Criminal Investigation Division. Imperial Police Bureau. What? The, the waiter is a police detective? I haven't heard any mention of this before. Why haven't I heard any mention of this? The Imperial Police Bureau has immense power, absol absolute power, as far as regular civilians are concerned. So, witnesses, they're in the stand. Was it in fact the waiter who gave you your orders? Was it he who told you not to mention that you'd seen this foreign gentlewoman at the scene? Well, Hold it. I Inspector Hosunaga. I was worried something like this may happen. The moment you asked me to submit my sketch as evidence, I realized it was a possibility. The court will take this plan and add it to the court records. Is there a problem? Hand the plan to the court officer at once. Um, of course. Here you are. Yes, I remember now. He did act strangely when the judge asked him to hand over his business card. 
I strive to carry out all investigations flawlessly. It's my guiding principle, but I let myself be distracted when I made that sketch. It was an unusually careless mistake. So, do you mean to say you really are a detective? But why would a detective be working at a, as a restaurant waiter? Ah, of course. Your salary must be terrible. I was working undercover. Undercover? Yes. There have been a series of incidents at the restaurants recently. In order to investigate, I decided to get a job there as a waiter, working undercover. Incidents at the restaurant. What kind? That would be classified police information, which I'm not at liberty to divulge. However, I can state categorically that they are unrelated to this case of homicide. Hmm. Very well then, Inspector Hosanaga. Very well then, Inspector Hosanaga. But you will elaborate on one point for the court. Of course, Your Excellency. We have just heard new information from the two witnesses beside you. That at the time of the shooting, there was in fact another person present at the victim's table. If that is indeed true, clearly you would have you would also have been aware of this person's presence, having served at the table in question. However, your testimony did not allude to this other diner. Therefore, I'm led to assume that in your professional capacity as a police officer, you required these witnesses to be in agreement. Would that be correct? <coughs> correct, Your Excellency. Unbelievable. Hmm. As I suspected. As soon as I heard the gunshot, I ran out of the kitchen to see what had happened. The victim sat slumped in his chair and beside him, gun in hand, stood the accused student. Sitting opposite the victim at the same table was a young lady whom I guessed to be an Englishman. So the truth comes out. I immediately sealed off the restaurant and reported the incident to the bureau. It was then that I received some special orders. Special orders? You mean to say, remove the English woman from the scene at once. It was made clear that the English woman's presence at the restaurant was to be concealed. Those were my orders. But, but what if this English woman was the killer? I think it would be in everyone's best interest not to pursue that idea. The Empire views the friendly terms of its relationship with you more highly than anything at the moment. An, English woman, an Englishman has been murdered on our soil. To name an Englishwoman as the primary suspect. Well, without irrefutable evidence, that would be completely out of the question. So that's the reason for the disappearance of the phantom woman in this case. But it's not right. One possibility does spring to mind. What do you mean, Kazuma? Yume University is currently hosting a number of exchange students from Great Britain, and I'm fairly certain that one of them studying in the medical faculty, faculty's research laboratory, is a young English woman. What? You are a shrewd man. I can see why you're the chosen candidate for the overseas study tour. You mean, when I removed the woman from the scene of the crime, I thought it prudent to check her identity first. Then the court demands that you name the lady in question at once, Inspector. The English, English woman sitting at the university professor's table was a certain Miss Giselle, Giselle Brett. She's indeed a foreign student studying in the research laboratory of Yuma University's medical f facility. What? what is happening here? I admit that under orders from the police bureau, I erased all evidence of this lady's presence at the scene and ordered these witnesses to make no mention of her in their testimonies. It must now 
will be up to your excellency to decide how to deal with this. Very well. My thoughts on the matter are as follows. Thus far, the case presented to the court has been underpinned by a particularly critical premise. Namely, that the victim was dining alone. However, as we have now discovered that this premise is false, it would be a desecration of our justice system to ignore the truth and give a ruling at this point. Objection! But, but, Your Excellency, that would mean missing the noon deadline of a ruling in order to send the telegraphic report. Our own government will surely be very displeased by such actions. Calm yourself, Counsel. I will not allow the government of our country or any other to influence the proceedings of my court. Ah. Inspector Hosanaga. Yes, sir. You will locate this Giselle Brett and escort her to the courtroom with the utmost urgency. And I will end that here, guys. On the next part, we will hopefully get this Giselle back into the court and cross-examine her. I'll see you then.